What's up everyone? Welcome back to Cooking with Jib. Uh, for everyone watching on my YouTube channel, I'm also doing a Facebook Live feed right now. So, trying this out for the first time. But today, keeping with the same theme that uh, I've already been shooting a couple of videos, we're doing fall stuff. We're cooking some fall food. Some good just get your flannel on, drink a nice cup of coffee kind of food. What we're actually doing is this like bacon jam, bacon relish type of deal. In this bowl, we got some jumbo tri-colored raisins and some cranberries. To add to that, uh, we're gonna do some apples. You know, you can go small piece, you can go big piece. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. We gotta kinda just chop it up to something. It's a little hard on my actual camera for my YouTube because it's just so bright. Coffee break. Uh, next thing we gotta do is half of an onion. So just kinda pop that in half. There's all these nice little pieces of onion. We got our onion and everything. And the last thing that we really gotta cut up uh, is our bacon and our uh, tomatoes. Do a half pound to a pound of bacon. I like a lot of bacon in this one, right? So it's more of a bacon jam with apples and cranberries than it is a apple relish jam that has bacon. See the, see the difference there? Cherrywood smoked bacon. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it kind of sliced up as is, and you can break it down pretty much as big or as small as you like. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna kind of cut some strips out of it. I want mine to be a little thinner. This, we're gonna pop it into our pan. So, oh yes, so much bacon. Uh, and of course it's kind of chunky, so you're gonna have to just kind of like crumble it in there. Ooh, ooh, you hear that? That's good, that's goodness right there. Mm, 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 so good. Mm. This one's gonna be a fun one to edit. Now, if you got a wooden spoon, use a wooden spoon. If not, I guess some tongs. I'm on like a five, so like a medium heat. There's a lot of bacon. We're just gonna let it sit. We're gonna let it reduce. We're gonna let it get so freaking delicious and render out that fat. That's what's going to cook our onion. That's what's gonna help break down uh, our dried cranberries and raisins. And we also got some random tomatoes because I forgot to buy a beef tomato. Let me go ahead and uh, work on these tomatoes. And we don't need anything drastic, just a couple, couple chops. They're gonna break down. Mmm, <sighs> coffee. Yeah. At this point, we don't really have much to do, but to wait. Some of the edges are starting to get a little bit crispy, so now we're gonna go in with the rest of our stuff. So first things first, we got some spices that I wanna add in before we go in with uh, some of the other things. So we got a little bit of salt, black pepper, thyme, uh, dried thyme, and dried rosemary. Put that in there. And you know what, we can actually go in with our tomatoes as well. The bacon is starting to break down a little bit more. The tomatoes that I just added, they're really, really breaking down. The liquid that they're adding is gonna help deglaze the pan, but it ain't gonna be enough. So we got two, uh, three liquids that we're gonna be adding. We're gonna go in first with our apple cider. Then we're gonna go with water and the balsamic vinegar. We really, really want this liquid to like really come up to a boil. Let's go with the onions right now. We want those to kind of cook. Uh, if you would like to, you could kind of start with the onions and bacon, get some color, get some caramelization on the onion. That's always a good option. Uh, it tastes great that way too. I just found out when making smaller batches, just going in with the onion halfway through, letting it kind of cook down and uh, cook in all the liquid is a little bit better. Um, just because on the smaller batches, it just kind of turns into mush. So yet again, this is the waiting game part. Uh, 
All in all, this dish does take a minute to cook, a minute to prep, uh, a minute to prepare. It just is what it is. So we're gonna let those onions go probably about three to five minutes, honestly, before we start to add anything else. So we got, oh man, I wanna say it's a cup and a half of granulated sugar. And then we got a half cup of packed light brown sugar. All right, looks like our sugar has now worked into the liquid. So the last thing we really gotta add to the pot is all of our apple pieces, our dried cranberries, and our jumbo dried raisins. So we got just some nice color going on, bacon, the apple, everything's really, really just cooking down and getting to know each other real well. Yeah, but this is pretty much it. I mean, not much else is gonna be done to this, right? Uh, at this point, it, it really is a waiting game. You are just gonna let this go until it gets as thick and goopy or as loose and chunky. I'm sure I could have probably described this a better way. Sometimes it be what it be. We're just gonna turn it down to like a low, medium, low, ish kind of heat and we're gonna just let this thing ride until I say we're done. Uh, so that's pretty much the recipe. Make sure you're constantly stirring. Maybe get a wooden spoon or a rubber spatula. Just constantly keep hitting the edges, hit the bottom. That's about that. Alrighty guys, I, uh, I think we got something here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Now, I've had this going for about 30 minutes. Here we go. That's something better, huh? It's thick. It's gelatinous. You can already see, like, it's almost, like, clear on the side. Kind of like if you had, like, that canned, that canned pie filling. I think I should probably call it quits with the coffee for today. But that's it guys, that is the bacon jam. I like mine a little bit looser. I mean, as this cools, it's gonna thicken up. Uh, when you heat it back up, it's gonna loose, it's gonna caramelize, and then it's gonna thicken. So I kind of like it a little bit looser, just in the beginning that way I have some uh, options of what I wanna do with it when I'm ready to eat it. But I mean, cold, warm, hot, probably frozen, this is it. Before I keep rambling, and if you know me, you know I can ramble. I'm gonna get on out of here. I gotta make some waffles. As always, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. See you next time. Peace.